Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the uh, This Week in Baseball Betting show that we do every week with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. And, of course, he's been giving us a lot of great recommendations for quite a long time throughout many sports uh, over the years with us. Did he do it last week? Yes, he did. In his show last week, 6-1-1 one, and one for plus 4.9 units uh, was, his, was his record uh, overall in our shows last week. Troy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. I appreciate it. You know, baseball is one of my favorite sports and handicap. Appreciate being on the show. I think both of us uh, pretty good darn advice to make some money on, Pete. Yeah, for sure. And I am going to start uh, keeping track of these records because the people who watch these shows really appreciate that because, you know, they, they like to, uh, to know what's backing up all this advice. And so let's put the records up right now. And you can see that you went 6-1-1 one, and one in your advice last week, plus 4.9 units. And most of it came in the weekend games. Uh, you previewed the Cubs at Atlanta. You called for a sweep of, by Atlanta, and they did sweep. Awesome, awesome call there. And you said you like Casey at Seattle Unders. That one went 2-1-1. One, and one. You said especially you like the Saturday Under. That one went under, so a great week. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com last week. Thanks so much once again. All right. The weekend games uh, that we're looking ahead to this week, uh, two series have caught my eye. See if you, uh, what, you, uh, what your opinions are on, uh, on my leans here. The first one, San Diego at Colorado. Now, Colorado, of course, has been a great team this year. Huge lineup. They're going over on the road. They're winning at home. Just a very impressive team this year. And uh, so this one is going to be more of a play on Colorado than against San Diego. San Diego has a very weak lineup this year. They'll get a boost. Uh, they should get a boost going into Colorado. Though a lot of these road teams at Colorado have not gotten as much of a boost as Colorado seems to get hitting at home. San Diego just been a bad bet on the year overall, minus 6.5% ROI. Colorado plus 13% ROI overall, plus 28% ROI at home. That's second best in baseball. In May, San Diego minus 9%. Colorado plus 24%. No brainer here. Bet on Colorado. Yeah, I would think so. I do think they're going to be uh, overvalued here, Pete. I think they might sniff some of these minus 200 lines. Mm -hmm. Colorado's a tough team to handicap, especially at home, because some of these over-unders really scare people away. You've seen 10 and a half, even as high as 11, 11 and a half. But, you know, with these pitching matchups, if you look at them, you have De La Rosa going on Friday, Lyles at 5-0 and going Saturday. So I would lean at least Colorado to take two of three. Mm -hmm. If the line snipped 200, I would probably stay away. Mm -hmm. But I do think Colorado will take this series overall, Pete. All right. Sounds good. And then the second um, series that caught my eye, uh, you know, in, in the midweek games, I like the unders in Atlanta at San Francisco, and I also like the unders in Cubs at St. Louis. This weekend, Atlanta goes into St. Louis, so I'm thinking more under again and for the same reasons you know Atlanta's lineup just not really getting it done and I'm not a believer in them not a believer in uh, St. Louis's lineup so much at the moment either but both teams have uh, good pitching staffs uh, both teams have great starting pitching Atlanta has another good bullpen so I'm thinking unders in Atlanta at, San at St. Louis what do you think? Yeah, no, I would look under as well. The Friday matchup scares me just as mm -hmm. you can get Shelby Miller against Irvin Santana. I know Santana is 4-0 and, and Miller's 5-2, and two, so record-wise, it looks pretty. But, you know, overall, I think you do got to lean under two, two lineups, you know, that, that have struggled at times, especially Atlanta's. You know, on, on the Saturday matchup, you're going to get Lions 0-2 against Harang, who's 4-3. and three. Two pitchers, that does scare me a little bit, Pete, so I hate to give out an official play because even that matchup, mm -hmm. both pitchers have struggled struggled at times this year. Is it an opportunity for the bats to come alive? I really don't know. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, I would definitely lean under. You're going to get Gavin Floyd going against Adam Wainwright. Wainwright, you never want to bet an over there with the potential mm -hmm. of a shutout. So, you know, if I had to make my official play, I would probably think that the game goes under two out of the three in the series, but a little tough call just because the pitching matchups aren't as favorable as I would like. Fair enough, but uh, I think I'm going to stick with that as uh, one of my recommendations. All right, what has caught your eye from the uh, week upcoming weekend series? that you uh, think we should look out for in terms of value. Yeah, you know, I'm actually going to lean to go with the Seattle Mariners. I do think they're going to get two out of three from the Minnesota Twins. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, you're going to get Felix Fernandez going against Velasco. I think that's a very favorable matchup for Seattle, and I think the fact that they're on the road gives them a little bit more value with Felix Hernandez on the right. mound. And then even that Saturday matchup, you're going to have Elliott, who's 3 and 2. This is a left handed pitcher. He's been very solid this year. Going against 0 and 2, Dan Duno from Minnesota Twins. So I just think the value is with the Mariners. I think you're going to see this series 
somewhere right around the minus 110 to 130 mm-hmm. range with them being on the road. But I think Seattle, they are playing better. They're going to get Chris Young going on Friday. Chris Young's been outstanding this year going against Kyle Gibson. We know Gibson got roughed up in his last outing against the Detroit Tigers. I think Seattle does get two out of three this weekend, so I think there's some value with Seattle, Pete. Well, I definitely trust you uh, when it comes to uh, Seattle area teams, and a fade of Minnesota right now is uh, also something that uh, that seems like a good thing to do to me. All right, thanks so much. Troy West from allplayswin.com. We'll talk to you again very soon.